Backstage View is the place to go when you need to create, open, save, and print files. All file management tasks are accessed from this new, centralized location. You can also change file settings, get help, set file security and sharing, and view file properties. Backstage View is new to Office 2010 and replaces the Microsoft Office button and file menus in previous versions of Office. You want to spend some time exploring Backstage View to familiarize yourself with its features and options. You'll begin by creating a new student database that is based on a template. By default, Microsoft Access opens to Backstage View and displays the New tab. In Backstage View, file commands and options are listed along the left, with options related to the selected item displayed on the right. The New tab displays templates from both our hard drive and Office.com. Since we're here, let's try to locate a template for our student database. We'll find more template options online, so let's look at the Education folder in the Online section. In addition to seeing thumbnails of each template, we can preview objects from the currently selected template in the far right pane, see who created the template, and view a user rating. The currently selected template for the student database looks like it should work, so let's go ahead and download it. Downloading the Student Database template opened a help window that explains how we can use this template. We don't need this for now, so let's close it. This Getting Started window contains additional help, and these videos provide some good insight on the structure of the Student Database, with information about the tables, queries, forms, and reports in the database. But at the moment, we're just going to close it. Now we can see our new database. We could easily look at, modify, or begin using any of the database objects, but let's return to Backstage View so we can continue exploring more of the features there. Clicking the File tab opened Backstage View to the Info tab. You may have noticed the buttons along the upper left, Save, Save Object As, Save Database As, Open, and Close. These are always there regardless of the tab selected. On this tab, we can enable content that has been disabled, compact and repair our database, and control who can view and edit a database. We can also view database properties, such as the author and the date the file was last modified. Let's take a look at the Recent tab next. As you can see, the Recent tab shows a history of recently opened databases. Now that we've got a feel for the options in the Recent tab, let's examine another important file management feature, Printing. You may be familiar with the Print dialog box from previous versions of Office. Features from that dialog box, including Pages to Print, Page Orientation, and Paper Selection can be found here when you click the Print option. The Quick Print option bypasses the Print dialog box and sends a print request directly to the printer. The Print Preview option allows us to see how something will print, as well as adjust page setup properties such as margins. Next, we'll take a look at the Save and Publish tab. From this tab, we can save the database as a different access version, template, or executable file. We can also save a copy of a database object, save a database as a PDF or XPS file, back up a database, and digitally sign and package a database. Additionally, there are options for checking a database's web readiness and publishing it using Access Services or the SharePoint site. Next, let's take a look at where to go for help. The Help tab contains links to Microsoft Office Help, the Getting Started page, and the Microsoft Support website. 
We can also check for the latest software updates and view information about the currently installed version of Access. The Options button, below Help in the left pane, is important because it provides access to program settings we might want to customize. Let's take a quick peek at it now. The Access Options dialog box is where we can customize how Access operates and how database objects appear. For example, we can use the General tab to set the default file format, the Object Designers tab to change the number of characters a text field displays, or the Proofing tab to modify Access's spell checking or autocorrect settings. Now that we have a feel for where we can change some of these options, let's go ahead and close the dialog box. Closing the dialog box returned us to the Home tab and the main database window. We're ready to exit access. We could do this using the Close button in the upper right corner of the window, but if any other databases are open, only this window will close and access will remain open. We can also close the entire application from Backstage View. The Close Database button near the top of the left pane will only close the current database. The Exit button at the bottom of the left pane will close the entire application. That's the one we want. As we have just seen, Backstage View organizes important file maintenance tasks into one convenient location on the File tab. From creating to saving databases, Backstage View is where you want to go when you need to manage your files. 